Hello, this screencast is on the chapter eight written practice problems that will prepare you for the culinary math dual credit exam. In addition, it will check for understanding. So like I've said in the other videos, you can use this video to help check your work or follow along if you are confused. Make sure you are referencing chapter seven steps and all the steps provided in chapter eight for doing yield, applying yield percent. All right, so let's do problem number one. So the situation is you are making cucumber salad for 250 guests and each salad will contain three ounces of cucumber. The yield percent for the cucumber is 95% and each cucumber weighs 10 ounces. How many cucumbers should you order? So a couple things you are gonna think about here. You're making 250 salads because you have 250 guests. Each salad is gonna be three ounces per guest, okay? yield percent you want to take into consideration as well as the weight of each cucumber because you're going to have to calculate the total weight of cucumbers that you need all right so let's get started so first off you're going to calculate the total weight of the cucumbers you actually need for the salads okay so with that being said you have 250 guests and you're going to multiply that by three ounces because each guest is going to have three ounces of cucumber Okay, so when you do that calculation, you need 750 total ounces of cucumber. Okay, that's how much you need to eat. So that is going to be your edible portion quantity because that's what you're going to serve in the salads. Okay, then you're going to adjust for the yield percent. So you're going to take that um, edible portion, 750 ounces, and you're going to divide it by the yield percent expressed as a decimal which the yield percent is 95, so you're gonna divide it by 0.95, and you are going to get 789.47 ounces rounded to the nearest whole ounce, okay? So then you're gonna calculate the number of actual physical cucumbers that you need. So now you're gonna take 789.47, again, that is including extra for trim, and you're going to divide by 10, 10 ounces because each actual cucumber that you're going to purchase weighs 10 ounces. So when you divide that, you get 78.95 cucumbers. Well, you're not going to buy a portion of a cucumber, so you're going to round that up to 79 total cucumbers is what you need to purchase to make 250 salads containing three ounces each. Okay. Again, if you have any questions, look back at the steps or ask your teacher for clarification. Now, this is problem number two, you are making melon balls with cantaloupe. You wanna provide five ounce portions of melon balls to each guest. A case of cantaloupes contains 15 cantaloupes. Each cantaloupe weighs two pounds and the yield percent for the melon balls is 38%. So things to consider, the weight of the cantaloupes, the yield percent, and the desired portion size. So the first thing you're gonna do is calculate the total weight of the cantaloupes in the case. So each case, as we said, has 15 cantaloupes. So you're gonna take 15 cantaloupes times two pounds, because each cantaloupe weighs two pounds, and you have a total of 30 pounds. So your as purchased quantity is 30 pounds, okay? You're gonna convert that to ounces, and um, because there are, there are 16 ounces in a pound, so you're gonna take your 30 pounds, total your as purchased quantity and you're going to multiply it by 16 ounces because there are 60 ounces in a pound as i said you're going to have a total of 480 ounces so then step three you're going to calculate the actual weight of melon balls you can get with 38 percent yield so you're going to take your total from step two which is your total weight of cantaloupe 480 times your yield percent of 38 percent expressed as a decimal is 0.38 and you're going to get 182.4 ounces. That's going to be your edible portion quantity, okay, that you're actually going to use for the melon ball salad. Then you're going to take that amount, your edible portion, and you're going to divide it by five because each portion is going to be five ounces of melon balls. So 182.4 divided by five, which you're going to get 36.48 portions. Again, with the reality of the rounding with situations like this, you can't round it up because you won't have enough cantaloupes. So you have, you will only get 36 portions 
of the five ounces of melon balls from a case of, of cantaloupes containing 15 of these two pound cantaloupes because you can't serve a half portion. All right, again, if you have any questions, ask your teacher for a clarification or reference the steps. And our last problem is gonna be about pineapples. So you have nine pineapples. Each pineapple weighs four pounds and the yield percent is 48%. One cup of fresh clean pineapple weighs six ounces. From this, how many two third cup servings can be made from the nine pineapples? So things to consider, the total weight of the pineapples, the yield percent and the serving size. So similar to what we just did. So the first thing you're gonna do is calculate the total weight of the pineapples. So here's the formula. You're gonna take your nine pineapples. As it said in the scenario, each pineapple weighs four pounds. So you're gonna multiply nine pineapples times four pounds per pineapple, and you have a total of 36 pounds. So that is going to be your as purchase quantity. Then you're gonna convert the weight of the pineapples to ounces. And there's 16 ounces in a pound as we've practiced. So you're going to take your total weight of the pineapples in pounds and times it by 16 because there's 16 ounces in a pound. And you have a total of 576 total ounces of pineapple, which is your as purchase quantity. Then you're going to go to step three and you're going to calculate that edible portion quantity. Okay, so here's the formula. So you have a total of 576 ounces that we calculated from step two. You're gonna multiply it by the yield percent, which we see as 48, and you're gonna express that as a decimal. So 0.4 times 0.48, and you get 276.48 ounces of edible portion pineapple. Now you're gonna take that number and you're gonna calculate it by two third cup servings to see how many two third cup servings are gonna be made. So to do that, you're going to take your edible portion, which is 276.48, and you're going to divide that by two-thirds times eight. So if you recall from our beginning chapters, you are only going to multiply that by the top number, okay? And we're doing it by eight ounces because there's eight ounces in a cup. So you take 276.48, and now that turns into 16 over three, which is an improper fraction because the top number is larger. And you're gonna flip them and you're gonna do 276.4 ounces times three over six. And that is gonna give you 51.6 servings. Again, you can't have a part of a serving, so you have to round down. So you're gonna have approximately 51 servings of two third cup portions of from the nine pineapples that you have been provided. Again, if you have any questions, ask your teacher for clarification, reference the steps. Thank you.